Charlie, things are very hard now. The system is very tough. People are trying to find jobs. People are trying to upgrade their existing job for better ones. And while people are trying to make a living, to survive and all that, there are bad guys also out there who want to also survive. Everybody wants to survive. So I'm here today to tell you about the biggest job scam that has ever reached the shores of Ghana. Well, in my opinion, I haven't really heard of other ones that probably might have existed, but in recent times, this is like the biggest job scam ever. Hi, my name is Ellen 360 and welcome back to my channel again. This channel provides variety of videos from interviews, travel vlogs, and we also speak about topics such as this. So if today is your first time visiting my channel, kindly subscribe and watch us for more. Now let's go. So the name of this organization that scammed many people is called End Hunger Africa. And I'm here to tell you on authority that End Hunger Africa is a scam, period. So just as any company would do, you know, when there are vacancies, they advertise it on their website, social media handles, and some in the dailies. So this End Hunger Africa also did advertise and then some other job, you know, uh, blogs or channels also pick it up and then reposted. So many people actually came across this in Hand Africa job on Jobly Ghana on LinkedIn. So I'm getting this classified information from a friend of mine who was almost duped by this in Hand Africa NGO. So according to him, there were about three vacant positions that were advertised. So yes, he actually applied for one. He applied for administrative officer. So after application, after a few days, he got an email saying that he had passed the first phase, first stage of the application process. So he was to he was moving to the next phase, which is the examination phase or the examination stage. And the exam was going to take place online, which is like more of aptitude test. So after the this date was scheduled, he went in for it, sat for the exam and he actually uh, told me he did very well. After a week, he got another email from this supposed End Hunger Africa NGO, supposed NGO, that he had qualified, he had passed the examination, so they were offering him a job. So they were asked to, they were actually asked to come to Accra on a set date, I think on the 23rd of November, for document review and also to discuss the salary and then the other benefits that come with it, you know, health insurance, bonuses, etc. So yes, Charlie Magai was really excited. But after a few days, he went online to Jobly Ghana on LinkedIn to check on the post, the End Hunger Africa post. So in a job offer, according to him, the least qualification is SHS graduates for operations officers and it didn't really sound well to a lot of people. So people were like, no, this 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 should be a scam. So that was actually the first red flag. Okay, that was actually the first red flag. People were like, no, they didn't understand why that big position would be the, the, the least qualification or if you are an SHS liver, you could actually qualify for that position. So that was actually the very first red flag. And then what the, the, the second biggest red flag was that, you know, the, the interview or the, the review was going to take place at Stamic Heights in Accra, all right? So people took the initiative to contact the management of Stamic Heights. And after some time, they issued a, a disclaimer that they did not know about this End Hunger Africa people and then no such organization had come to book any of their offices, yeah, offices for any such events. So that was the second red flag. So then my guy got the realization, he was convinced that this was actually a scam. So what he did was to go to 
the website of the Registrar General's Department. We went there to search for this Enhanga Africa, and who went, lo and behold, there was no that particular organization was non-existing. There was no company registered with it. Uh, registered general departments. So that was like the clearest, like the biggest red flag. It was so clear that there was no such company. So he was convinced that this was actually a scam. So he decided that he wasn't going to go ahead with it. And after a few days, their uh, Facebook page was disabled, their Instagram page was disabled, and their website. So after all these red flags, people still decided to go to Stamic Heights to queue for like this job to receive their appointment letters. Like how how why 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 are people like this? And from from sources, I gathered that people actually pay monies of up to like ten thousand CDs for this job, this non-existing job. Upon all the news that were circulating about in Hunger Africa being a scam, and people, their website going down, their Facebook going down, them disabling their IG accounts, Twitter accounts, there were people who still didn't believe that this was a scam. They were, they were actually hopeful that they were going to get a job. It's, it's never done. I mean, it was an ice on Wednesday when people actually went there, like. God. I cannot imagine. I cannot imagine. So yes, N Hunger Africa is a scam. It is a scam. It was a scam. So please, this is the best that you could do for yourself. When you get this kind of job adverts and you are you are you want to apply, the best you can do for yourself is to go to the Registrar General Department website, okay, and check if the company or the organization is actually registered. It's actually registered. When you go there and you search for the organization and it's not registered, then you know that there is something wrong somewhere. You should prove further to know the credibility of this organization before you end up getting duped, like how some people were actually duped. So, Charlie, system may cause everybody make wild, but don't be a victim of these job scams. There are many in the system, and I even heard that people go to the extent of organizing, I mean, interviews. Like they'll take you through the application process. They will, they will, up, they will set up a place for interview. You will go there, you will see a panel, and then they will interview you. That is how. How, how far people can go with this scam, these job scams. So please be vigilant. When, when you see something, try to make do some small research for yourself and then be convinced that this is actually not a scam before you invest your time and your money. And those who were duped, those whose money is stolen by these Enhanga Africa people. Uh -huh. Bele or Bele, Bele. May God be with you all. Mm. But next time, be a little smart. Be a little smart. There are bad guys out there who are ready to, you know, foul. They're ready to be foul. So please be vigilant. That is all that I can say. That is all that I can say. And Hunger Africa. Hmm. So that's a God who punish you people. Well, I leave, I leave you. I leave you in the hands of God. I wish Blasters all the best in this World Cup. I hope we get to we get to the finals. My name is Eli Newton 360. Eli Newton. If this is your first time visiting my channel, kindly subscribe to my channel. Share this video for someone to get to know about this vital information. Until next time, I'll see you guys again. Stay away from all the shit because it's temptation I know that I like to do it because it's